morning. I'm about to check out of this hostel and make the journey to a mall wall in Cebu. What I've been told is how it works. You take a tuk-tuk to the port because it's not the port that I came in um, when I came from Sikihor, but the one like north of Dumaguete. I take a ferry to the other side. I think it's Lilo on port. Then a tricycle to the bus station and then a bus to Malbao and then I think I need to get another tricycle to my hostel. I've been told that a route in total shouldn't cost more than a thousand pesos so we'll see. I'm not entirely sure but I'm gonna... somebody told me that the tricycle to the port should not be more than 150 pesos so I'm gonna try to see if I can get a tuk-tuk on the side of the street but first I need to check out. Also I thought that the like shop next door would be open. It doesn't open until eight. So I might be living off crackers until I reach Malval. <laughs> Unless I can find some food at the train or at the bus station. Or at the port. Welcome to Malbaum. That road was very easy. I'm now on the beach and I think we can almost see where the Sardines are. Look at the amount of people. but the amount of people is not heavy anymore. <laughs> I know I'm one of them, but... I have just spent a big part of the day at the beach. I just came back to get most of the sand off of me. I don't know if you can hear me. The pipes here are so loud. I spent pretty much the entire day at the beach. I just got back here to get most of the sand off me and just quickly change into some uh, new shorts. And now I am heading back to the beach to watch the sunset, hopefully. I hope it'll be nice. I'm not entirely sure if the sun sets on this side. I think it does, but we're just gonna go ahead and check it out. Mm -hmm. 